Well, hello, my lovelies. It's Murky Meg here. It is Thursday, the 11th of April, and as the title of this video suggests, I'm going to be talking about Harry and Meghan. <laughs> no surprise there. But as I suggested, is Harry homesick or is he sick of home? Now, a lot has been put out in the press recently with regards to Harry wanting to come back and step up in the wake of King Charles and Princess of Wales cancer diagnosis and help out. And as you're well aware how my feelings are on this, I think it's completely ridiculous. You know, if it really is true, then it's very, very much delusional because it will never happen. But more than I think that he's delusional, which I know he is, but whether or not this is true, I actually think that this is puff pieces being put out by the Sussex camp to try and sway curry in their favour and try and win public support. Say, oh, look, they won't let us come back. They won't let Harry. They won't let Harry step up and fill in his duties. Oh, sunshine, you left your duties. You really, really did. You said sayonara, you got on the freedom flight, and off you popped. Now, remember, everything that these two do, especially Meghan Markle, is strategic. And we all know that American Orchard Riviera, and I am still cackle at that name, I really, really do. The launch is imminent, I suppose. I mean, one would suggest that she kind of jumped the gun slightly too early with regards to, oh, look, look, my Instagram, this is what I'm going to be doing, and then whoosh, crickets. Now, a few decades ago, or a decade ago, in marketing, a clear, strategic launch would often include, at the very start, teasing. It's a teaser. That's what, in marketing terms, it's known as a teaser. Look, this is what's happening. She's building her followers, which... <laughs> Still not breaking those boundaries, are we? She is still only at 588,000. Can't break that 600,000 barrier, can we? Anyway, I digress. The fact that years ago, a teaser would be how people would slowly test the waters and get people's interest in certain projects and products and the like. But in today's society, where people want fast news, fast videos, and I blame TikTok, to be perfectly honest. People want the information now. They, they just want it. They can't be bothered to wait. That's why when you have a look on social media platforms like TikTok, often people will get annoyed when people say, follow for part two. People don't want that. They want to hit sound bites quickly and clearly. So it's my own personal opinion that a marketing tool like doing a teaser is now way out of date. I also feel that she is doing something that many people have already done. It's been saturated and there isn't much of a thirst for exactly what she's going to be putting out because I think she's going to throw everything there is, including the kitchen sink, at this. All products, everything. Now, there is a reason why I am mentioning her American Riviera and also the fact that Harry is homesick or sick of home. So we've had the fact that these puff pieces are coming out in the media that, oh, Harry wants to come back and help. No, I'm calling BS on that for the reasons I have mentioned before. We also have the impending, as I've said, American Riviera Orchard launch. We've had a soft launch and it's a teaser launch and I've explained that doesn't work in today's society. But the reason why I'm prattling on about this is because on the 8th of May, which is just four weeks away, Harry will be making a appearance, or we are led to believe, at the special service marking the Invictus Games 10th anniversary. He's due to speak at the service. He is marked as attending. Meghan, however, both Harry and Meghan are listed as guests and the speech has been scheduled, but there's still a question mark over whether Meghan will make an appearance. Her name has been penciled in as a TBC, which is to be confirmed. Now, we all know how everybody feels about Meghan Markle in the UK. Majority of people, majority of people feel, you know, she's not very liked here. 
quite frankly, narcissists don't like to be held accountable. They don't like a mirror showing up to them with their behaviours. So my question is, will she be there? We also have the issue of Harry suing the Home Office because he wants his security protection back. Now remember, he gets protection if he is attending any royal family events. This isn't a royal family event, so he wouldn't get protection unless there is a risk to his safety, his or his family's safety, should they actually come with him. Now ordinarily I would, like I said, say Meghan Markle will not make an appearance in the UK. However, things have slightly shifted because with the cancer diagnosis of both King Charles and the Princess of Wales, there is a lot of media attention focused on the British royals and a lot of positive media attention, especially given the fact what Catherine has been treated like with regards to the media and social media. A lot of people are coming out in support, and rightfully so. Now, think about Meghan Markle. Think about the tactics that she uses and have used in the past to gain popularity and publicity. How do you think she feels about the positive aspect of the royal family getting media attention. A lot of people have speculated how she is ultimately jealous of the Princess of Wales. And one of the reasons why she didn't actually fit into the royal family was the fact that she couldn't adjust to the pecking order, the hierarchy of the royal family. That then got pushed to one side and got, oh, they were racist, they didn't give me a chance. Narcissists are very, very clever at gaslighting and manipulating and spinning a story to suit their narrative. We've also had a lot of pieces in the news about Harry wants to step in, as I've mentioned before, how they have both reached out to Princess Catherine and even laughably that Catherine and William want them to come over. Oh, just but the mind boggles, to be perfectly honest. The amount of puff pieces that have tried to paint these two in a sympathetic light is ridiculous. But then this blind got released on Crazy Days and Nights on Tuesday, and it says that the illiterate one wants a huge launch for her company next month. She wants to time it with the overseas visit of her husband, so he will be forced to come right back home again. It is troubling how he's never allowed to stay longer than a day. Spell wears off, worried about his ex. Not sure about the ex comment, but the spell wearing off is a very viable option. Now, remember, the narcissist tool is a very tricky one. And I've spoken about this numerous times and the vicious cycle of how a narcissist makes you feel. They'll love bomb you into thinking that this is amazing. They will then devalue you, belittle you, undermine you. Then when they think that you are about to slip away, they hoover you back in and love bomb you again. And this cycle goes on and on and on and on until you are no use to the narcissist or you wake up and then you either leave or you get discarded by the narcissist because you offer no value to them. We're well beyond the love bombing stage. We're now in the cycle of devaluation, hoovering, devaluation, hoovering, devaluation, hoovering. Remember, this is just my opinion of the things that I see. What a narcissist fears the most, as I've said, is being exposed and a mirror shown up to them. So would there be genuine concern with Meghan that Harry would wake up and not actually return? No, I don't think so. I think he's there for the long haul until he gets discarded. Narcissist tool, yet again. Harry has always said he's a family man. And I firmly believe that he will not go or wake up because of the children that we never actually see. Now, we know that the Invictus Games is Harry's passion, so it's inevitable that he will be in the UK for the 8th of May. Will Mark will be there? I don't think so. I personally feel that she will not come to the UK without it being a royal event, and a spectacular royal event at that. When I say spectacular, I mean one that cannot be missed, i.e. the Platinum Jubilee and the Queen's funeral. Now, the funeral wasn't a spectacular event, but it was one that should not be missed. And she gleefully went to that one and did the whole tear dropping and everybody caught how sad she was. But it was the perfect opportunity for Meghan to do exactly what Meghan does best, and that's put on a show. But my question is, how long will Harry stay in the UK for? Because from previous visits, he's literally flown in and flown out. The longest time that he and his wife were in the UK, they were here for various events and then obviously the Queen died, so that meant that they had to stay longer. And of course that meant 
Meghan Markle had to face the in-laws that she's bashed. Remember, Spare hadn't come out at this point. So will she dog whistle him home like a good boy that he is? Because remember, Harry can't get the attention without Meghan. So if Meghan doesn't attend, she will not want him getting sole attention. And let's face it, all eyes must be on Meghan because of her American Riviera Orchard launch. Now, like I said, we don't know when this will be. I suspect it will be in May, in early May, because everything that she does is always timed around particular events, taking away the interest of the royal family or trying to steal the limelight as such. She announced her new brand on the same day that Prince William and Harry were giving speeches separately at the Diana Legacy Awards in London. This was no mistake. This was a calculated plan, in my honest opinion. Now, we have Trooping the Colour on the 15th of June. I don't think, personally, she will wait that long to release more information or actually push her products to launch with regards to Arrow or American Riviera Orchard. I think that's particularly too long. I think she will do it around the time of Invictus Games, giving her the perfect opportunity to make sure that Harry doesn't stay as long as he probably would like to in the UK. But then again, hey, you know, he's suing the Home Office and he's not protected. He is, but he's not, in his mind. Now, before this whole fallout happened with the royal family and he released Spare and then it all went downhill, there were elements that everybody was saying that the royal family were keeping the door open for Harry to return because he is family. He could never return to royal duties or royal life, but like I said, he could come back cap in hand to go, oh, I'm really sorry, can I come home? He could enter the family and be part of the family. Rifts need to be healed and I don't think William will ever trust him again. But there's a reason why I'm saying this. In a narcissist's mind, like I've said, they fear being abandoned. They fear their oxygen supply, their narc oxygen supply to be withdrawn and fizzle out. So in a narcissist's mind, they fear that they could no longer control a partner and they fear being discarded rather than them doing the discarding. Do you think Harry at all has any regrets over this? Especially now that his father and his sister-in-law are both going through serious health battles. Do you feel that he is being drawn towards them, that he's actually quite remorseful for not being part of the fold? It must have come as quite a shock when they themselves weren't personally told about the Princess of Wales diagnosis and they found out on the news. I mean, that's just a nugget of a gem, really, isn't it? To be told about a close family member's cancer diagnosis on the news. Here's my personal opinion. Harry will come alone. If he doesn't come alone, Meghan will come with him. There is no way that Harry will come to England with the children that are never seen without Meghan because it's my personal belief that she's terrified that he will not come home. So my question to you, will she let Harry have some time alone in the UK or will she A, be with him? I don't think she will be, to be perfectly honest, but you never know with Markle, do you? And B, if she does let him come alone, will this be the time that's the perfect time in her eyes to launch her American Riviera Orchard? Mark my words, if it is timed at the same time as the Invictus Games 10th anniversary, it's going to be so obvious and people will dislike her even more because it's just a desperate attempt to cling to the limelight on the coattails of somebody else, i.e. the veterans. The worrying thing for me is that this idea that Prince Harry wants to return to the UK to help royal family is still going on. They're still trying to push this. And I firmly believe that this has two reasons. One, because of the launch of American Orchard Riviera. And two, because Harry's coming to the UK. And it's a perfect excuse for them to yet again steal the limelight from the royal family. Or, curveball, does he want to get back in the fold because he knows he's going to be protected? There's a reason why his name was in those uh, Diddy's lawsuits. Uh, it's not been made public yet. Why? But why was his name in there? I did a video on this if you've not seen it. But, whoof, he knows that the royal family will not protect him if he's out of the fold. Ooh, curveball. So, yeah, it's worrying that these puff pieces are still being peddled by the media that he wants to come back and help within the royal family. It's never going to happen, sunshine. End of. You made your bed. Now you've got to lie in it. So I would love to know what your opinions are. Do you think this is all to do with Harry being protected? Do you think this is just, hey, he's just coming to the UK for the 10th anniversary of Invictus and then he'll go 
back to California because he'll get dog whistled because Meghan Markle needs him by her side and will not let him have any limelight without her. Do you think she'll be there? Do you think that she will be there with all the smiles and taking the limelight away from the veterans? Or do you think these are just puff pieces put out by the Sussex camp in order to gain sympathy, gain victimhood? Look, you won't let me come back. Do you think it's genuine remorse that he feels and actually wants to come back and help? Is he homesick? Or is he sick of home? But most importantly, do you think the launch of American Riviera Orchard will be at the same time as the Invictus Games 10th anniversary? Would she stoop that low? As always, I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and also that like button. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers for all the tips and all the emails, DMs that everybody sends to me. It really is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for watching once again.